All right, so as with most languages, Python has methods for managing files, creating them, reading them, um, writing to them, all types of stuff. So I just want to take a look at some methods that we can use to manipulate files. So first thing I want to do is open a file. And it doesn't even have to exist. This will actually create it. Okay, so I'm going to create a variable. We'll call it my file. And let's set this to open. Okay, so there's a method called open where we pass in the name of a file. I'm going to call it my file and it's going to be a text file. I want to be able to write to it. So we're going to pass in W. And we can get some info on the file. Actually, you know what? Let's just run this. Let's, let's save this. Go down here and say Python 3 files dot pi. And just by running that, notice that now I have a my file dot text. Okay, so that actually created it. So we if we want to get some info on it, we can do that. Let's say get some info. We'll go ahead and print out the file name. So we can do that by saying my file dot name. Okay, if we want to get see if it's closed we'll say is closed there's a method called closed and then the opening mode we have dot mode all right let's just see what this gives us if we run it okay so we get name my file dot text is closed false opening mode W. Okay, so basically um, when we open it, it's 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 ready for us to 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 write into it or to add to it, append to it, whatever. Um, once we're done doing that, we should we're supposed to close it. So let me give you an example. Let's say write to file. So we'll take my file and we'll say dot write. And then we'll pass in what we want to write. I'll say I love Python. And then we want to close it. So we want to say my file dot close. Okay, so let's save that and then let's clear this out and run it. And let's go to my file dot text. And there we go. We, we actually wrote to the file using Python. Let's say we want to do Let's do another right right here and we'll add on to it. We'll say I love Python space and JavaScript. Okay, so let's run that. Let's take a look at my file dot text and we get I love Python and JavaScript. So you can continuously write to the file. So let's say after it's closed, we want to add to it. So let's say append to file okay because now we're appending to it so we're going to say my file equals open oops it's my file dot txt and we're going to put an a in here okay because um, we want to append to it so Because if we don't do that, we're, it's just going to overwrite it. If we do what we did up here, it's just going to overwrite what's already there. And I want to keep this in here and I just want to append to the end of it. So that's why we're using the A, A flag there. So let's say my file dot write. Okay, even though we're doing dot write, we opened it as a pen. So it's not going to overwrite what's already there. So I'm going to put a space and I'm going to say I also like PHP. Okay, and then after that we want to close it. So we'll say my file dot close. All right, so let's run this. And let's take a look. And you can see that it didn't just overwrite it. If I put a W here, actually, I can just show you that if I put a W here and we go ahead and, and run it, we, we only get I also like PHP. So if you want to append to a file and not overwrite it, you want to make sure you put an A there. So if we run that, then it's back to how it was. Okay, so if we want to read from a file, we can say my file equals 
open and we want my file txt except this time we want to do r plus okay because this time we're reading from it so i'm going to say text i'm going to create a variable called text and let's set it to my file dot read and let's pass in 10 okay now when i print out text let's save this clear this up and run it and you'll see what it does is it takes the first 10 characters of the file so that's what this is that's what this limit is if i put 100 it's going to give us well i mean there's not even 100 in here but it would give us the first 100 All right, so we're not going to really be doing much of this throughout the course. I just wanted to show you that, you know, you can do this stuff, you can create files. Um our particular Django project doesn't really require us to do this, but again, I just wanted to throw it in. All right, so in the next video, I just want to take a quick look at working with JSON, even though this isn't really something we're going to do in the project either, but it's always good to know how to work with JSON because you, you know, often you're working with third party APIs and stuff and JSON is the the most popular format so you want to know how to deal with that in Python. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.